Hey there, I'd like to welcome you to this video. And in this lesson, we will have a closer look at what exactly is Agora and how the Agora plugin works. So this lesson will bring you up to speed and will clarify the basics that you need to know. So let's get started. So just to explain further what Agora is, Agora is basically a real-time engagement platform that provides an API for developers so that they can build apps that have real-time engagement features. And by real-time engagement features, we're basically talking about voice calling, video calling, interactive live streaming, real-time messaging, and so on. So if you want your app to have some of these features, then Agora will make it easier for you to implement them into your own app. So that's where the Agora plugin by Zero Code comes in. And right now we're looking at the live demo page of the plugin. And if you want to get to this page, you can simply head over to zerocode.com slash plugins and within the search box, type in Agora and then click on live demo. So the plugin page here tells us that the Agora plugin can help us implement two specific features. And that includes video streaming as well as video conferencing. And here on the page, we can see that we can actually go over and test out both these features. But perhaps you may be confused as to what exactly is the difference between video conferencing and video streaming. So video conferencing involves a relatively small number of people who are sharing bi-directional video and audio. So that means that they can see each other through video and they can also hear one another through audio, as you can see within this diagram. But video streaming on the other hand is basically a one-way video and audio signal from a presenter to a large view-only audience as you can see within this diagram. So another way to look at it is that video conferencing is similar to being in a meeting room with a few people and video streaming is similar to being on a stage in front of a big audience. So it's important to understand the difference between the two so that you can know which feature you need to implement within your own app. So to test out the video conferencing feature, simply click on start conference. And then here you can see that we have a checkbox that will enable or disable screen sharing. And after clicking on start conference, you'll be able to see your video right here. So that's simply how that works. And then to test out the video streaming feature, simply click on start streaming. And then again, we have the option to enable or disable screen sharing by clicking on this checkbox. And of course, after clicking on start streaming, you'll be able to see your webcam video right here. So the streaming feature is also very simple to use. So we encourage you to go ahead to the live demo page of this plugin in order to test out these two features so that you can get an idea of how they will work in your app. And that basically brings us to the end of this lesson. So we can now move along to the next one.